Toasting nuts makes them crunchy and also brings out their flavor better. You could do it on the stove top or even in the oven, but for small quantities I prefer to use the microwave as it is quick and easy and it's also hands free. So here's how I do it. For this I prefer to use wide and flat microwave safe glassware like this one from Borosil. The nuts are at room temperature. If they are cold it will take them longer for them to get toasted. I microwave small quantities of nuts at a time. If there is a lot, the heat distribution will not be even or efficient and some of the nuts may even burn. Spread these in a thin even layer. I will microwave these on high power that is 900 watts in my microwave, 3 to 4 minutes and then stir them well to redistribute the nuts and then microwave again for uh, 2 to 3 minutes. The skins of the nuts will not change a lot in color the way they do if you toast on the gas stove. But you can tell by the smell and some of these have split open. You can wait for a few minutes and let the nuts cool and then check if they are done to your liking. If required microwave again for a minute or so and uh, repeat more batches if needed. They will continue to cook even after you take them out of the microwave. The toasting time also depends on the wattage of the microwave, the kind and the size of the nuts. So depending on whether the almonds are whole or sliced, the time will vary. So be careful to not burn them. If you need a mix of different nuts for a recipe, I would suggest you microwave them separately and then mix them. If you need toasted chopped nuts for your recipe, toast them first and then chop them. So the next time you need a small quantity of toasted nuts for your baking or for dessert, try using your microwave. Please let me know in the comments below if you would like me to make more such videos. I'll be back soon with some recipes for winter. Please subscribe and stay tuned.